All right, let's head back out here and see what else we can get into. We got here pretty late. We didn't get here until about 11 o'clock. Now that uh, the pressure's off and I know we're not, we got food, I'm probably gonna work this popper some more. See if I can drum up anything a little bit bigger than that, that pompano was. That's great eating fish, that's gonna be a treat. Have I mentioned just how freaking amazing this place is? Just this beautiful protected bay. We got high mountains on all sides, so protected from the swell, which typically heads from that direction. So this point's kind of blocking the swell. It's just paradise. We got clear water. I really wish we were staying for a week, two days, not even remotely close to enough. We're just gonna have to come back. Man, I see, I see fish below me. Some kind of little striped yellow fish. Bunch of them down there. Oh, oh, big trigger fish. Oh. Big trigger fish looking at this thing right now. Big one, one of the big gray ones. These things are delicious. Oh man, he came up and looked right at it. I could see him, he was big. But I just have no room here to work this lure. They're delicious to eat. They're a pain to clean. Their skin is like Kevlar. But if you can get to the meat, it's delicious. Just came out here a little farther offshore to see if I couldn't find a little bit deeper reef. And I did find a good one back here. And then I looked up and saw these fish busting on the surface. Now I'm pretty positive this is not what we want for dinner. But just for the sake of Having a little fun. See this little guy right here? Never fails. Five seconds, I'll be out. Five, four, three, two, one. And we out. <laughs> Never fails. <sighs> Automatic, amigos. Automatico. This fish going off. Tag a buddy that still couldn't catch a fish. <laughs> Bonita everywhere. <laughs> going off. Endless automatic fun with these guys around. And they're always around here. Bonita, great bait. Pew. Whoa, what are those? Tons of bait right here. No man, porta amigo. Que quieres? Uh-huh. Fish on. <laughs> Pretty sure that's a bonita. <laughs> like I said, just to have some fun, can't pass up the opportunity to. <laughs> Can't pass up the opportunity to have a little fun, even if it is just a bonita that I do not really want to eat, but I'm sure they'd be good cooked, but we got, golly, but really they're just a fun fight. I didn't even bring my setup for running live bait, which I'm realizing now is stupid because I could have just had it out behind me while I was fishing for other stuff, but yeah, I don't have anything to put this guy on. And if we still had no fish, I would keep this guy. I mean, I'm assuming it's a bonita. It feels like a bonita. I would keep this guy. I bet they're not bad to eat, but certainly not the best. And so uh, I'll probably just let him go. But in the meantime, <laughs> they're a fun fight. This is what we call live bait out here in Panama. 
Whereas most people go kayak fishing and whatever they're catching doesn't fight that hard. Yeah, it's Benita. I had seen the school of fish below me and what actually really caught my eye at first is something big and silver ran through them. Could have been a rooster fish or, or really who knows. But something was hunting these guys. And again, I'm kicking myself now for making that decision to not bring the big setup to run this guy live. That's a really candy little bonita, perfect size for bait. But uh, I did not bring it. Now, I'm really not that far. I could run back in and get that rod. I still got plenty of time on oh, over there. The bonita are going crazy too. But I mean, that was worth it. They're just such a fun fish. You know, working here at Los Buzos part of the year, you really get sick of catching bonita, or most people do. For me, that's fun. Screaming drag. I know y'all heard that. Screaming offline. That's a good time. I don't care who you are, and I don't care how many of them you caught. It just never gets old for me. Think you tow a 10 pound largemouth bass backwards, no problem. <laughs> Tortuga. cast all right guys I just came all the way across to the other side of the bay and I just just got here and I cast this big bucktail jig one time and I got something bigger on on its silver I see it first cast pretty much the second I started reeling I was on uh, I think I know what it is. Oh, golly. I think I know what it is. Based on the way the fight feels, I think that's a Jack Revol. Nope. Nope. That's more dinner. <laughs> that's a bluefin trevally, what I've been looking for. Oh, a nice one. Look at that. Oh, nope, nope. Nope. Oh, stud. Oh, I'm so glad I came over here. It was looking pretty far when I started out and I decided to go for it. And boy, did that pay off first cast. <laughs> Sick. <laughs> oh my gosh, that couldn't have got any better. First freaking cast over here. Oh my goodness. <laughs> no way, no freaking way. Look at that, you guys. Talk about like putting in the work and getting rewarded. I mean, instantly, instantly. First cast after I got over here and I caught the fish I've been talking, kind of talking about all, all day. The fish I was hoping to catch for our dinner and there it is on this little jig this is actually also mv3 hey get out of here i'm gonna be here yapping all excited i'm gonna get crunched in some rocks this is actually also mv3 baits mike vinarchik buddy of mine from south florida makes these lures just a beautiful beautiful bucktail and i've actually never really used this i just got it and look at that thing that is the fish I've been hoping to see. That is dinner. Ah, oh, goodness. Love it when a plan comes together. I thought it was a Jack Revol. The way it was fighting, they have a very kind of telltale fight. 
but these fish are very similar anatomically and so uh, therefore the, the, the fight is similar as well. And I forgot to get a knife when I went back in. So again, I'm just gonna grab his gills. He's not gonna like this. I'm just gonna kind of rip his gills out. And that's a great, very effective way to bleed any fish. There's lots of arteries, so you can see that there's actually blood squirting. You have viewer discretions advised here, folks. But I'll tell you what, if you're a vegan and you're against what I'm doing right now, I understand. But if you eat meat from the grocery store or buy fish from the commercial fishing industry, trust me when I say catching fish this way is much more sustainable, much better for our planet. I am actually uh, pretty adamantly against commercial fishing these days. I do not order fish at restaurants anymore. And luckily, I don't really need to. I can catch my own. Oh my gosh, I'm so stoked about that. I know you guys heard me saying bluefin trevally multiple times today. Saying it'd be sweet if I could catch a bluefin trevally. I don't know if y'all know the secret, but what you believe, what you talk about, what you think about manifests itself, y'all. And that was a perfect example. I've been thinking bluefin trevally the entire time I've been out here and it just manifested. Ah, oh, sick. Phew! We're gonna be eating good tonight, boys. We're about to have a seafood feast. We're gonna be taking fish home with us. We are all worried about eating. All right, he's dispatched and bled out. I'm gonna put him under my seat. Let's try that again. Guys, what a fun little, not even half day, third of a day session out here. Maybe about three or four hours really of fishing. Killer. Just, I, I hope you can see like the diversity of fish we have here on the southern coast of Panama. I mean, I basically used three or four techniques and I caught, I don't know, seven or eight species and really just messing around. I mean, just kind of exploring, tossing here, tossing there, just enjoying it all looking around, soaking up the scenery. But I think that's it. I mean, we got a couple more hours of daylight. I want to spend a little time on land, see if I can't go find some bananas. And really, I want to find some limes so we can make ceviche. I don't know if there are any around or not, but I'm going to go, I'm going to go do a little exploring on land. Maybe fish a little bit more from the rocks this evening. And we're going to cook up dinner. Excited for that. I'm starving. And then tomorrow, We'll wake up, probably do some fish on the rocks first thing at first light. We're gonna make breakfast, and then we're gonna be running out looking for gigantic tuna in the panga. And I'm pretty sure I saw some today. I believe they're here, they are around. But anyways, I'm gonna head back to camp right now. I'm just gonna kind of enjoy camping a little bit. What do you say? Let's see what else we can get into. Golly, this place is pretty. What a fun afternoon. Mm, mm, mm. La cena listo. All right, guys, feeling like a new man. Just took a little, little bath here in our swimming pool. This is where that creek comes in and it forms a little pool here, just like at our last campsite, just not as big, where it goes out in the ocean. Just took me a little bird bath, got the clothes drying. And it looks like Dakota made a, made a little fillet table here off this log with a flat piece of wood from out of that hut. So I'm gonna get to flaying this uh, bluefin trevally. Get this guy ready for dinner. This sweet little fillet table. I've definitely filleted fish in uglier places. Really stoked I was able to catch this guy. I was talking about it all morning and that's all I wanted and there it was. First cast over at that spot. Some of this we're gonna end up taking home. We got too much fish for the amount of people we got for, for two days. And there we go. 
fresh, never frozen bluefin trevally out here in paradise. Wow. Man, oh man, what a day, what a place, what a meal. I am stuffed, just incredible. There is not much that beats these camping trips, these remote camping trips that we do out here. Again, the only complaint I've got right now is that we're only out here for one night. I think next time I'm down here, I'm gonna plan a week long one of these. Right above our camp over there, actually, we have avocado trees, mango trees, and another fruit that they're calling pan, fruta de pan, which is bread in Spanish, bread fruit. I don't really know, but they said it's delicious, but unfortunately all three are out of season right now. So like the avocado tree has avocados, but they're small, but it just goes to show like how much food grows wild out here to where if you were going to have to be deserted on a remote beach somewhere, this would not be a bad one. This would not be a bad area. Between the sea and the land, you can live like a king out here. And we're just, we're eating like kings right now with basically nothing that we actually brought from home, except for the oil, some salt. What a place. What a place. L-I-V-I-N, ladies and gents. This is living. Civilization, y'all gonna have that. This is where it's at. See? Looking for a freshwater shrimp and they found one, a little guy. Is he in there? Oh, and Sadio, look. Look, you got a big one. <laughs> Mira, zapateros, eh? <laughs> wow, look at that. They're out here, we're out here looking for shrimp. Y puede comerlo, sí? Sí. Mm. Frito. Oh, sí, sacarlo. Frito. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're going to cook this guy out. This is a freshwater shrimp. These guys are over here looking for a little baby. <laughs> un bebé. Sí, un bebé. Tú tienes el abuelo. <laughs> sí, quiero cocinarlo. Que no, yo quiero probarlo. Nunca, nunca. Frito es bueno. Sí, un camarón de agua fresca. Nunca en mi vida. No. Ah, los ojos. Brillan. Mm -hmm. Look at that. Here's another one. We're on the hunt now. We're on the prowl. Their oh, eyes man. shine like an alligator. Is how they're spotting them. It's pretty cool. Ah, un tenedor, sí. ¿Lo tienes? Oh, Profesional, man. Wow. Look at this guy. Another one. This guy's a beast. <laughs> Little claw. No son muy fuerte, no? Porque está chico. Oh, tan grande no lo hago. He said the big ones you don't do that. You don't mess with. It. Ah, so puede ser más grande. Wow, he said that's a baby. That they get a lot bigger than that. Oh, it's a bigger one. Oh, si, sí, grande. Grande más vivo. So he's saying that the, the way to get these guys is you put one hand behind them and then the other hand up in front of them, nice and slow. And basically they try to shoot backwards and they shoot from one hand into the other. But he said the big ones, they're, they're a little more slippery. They're a little quicker. And that one, I don't know how, I thought for sure he got it. But that one got away from him. But this is fun, you guys. This is cool. This is cool here. <laughs> like a bunch of kids just playing around the creek at night. We're going to eat these things. We, we got to get a few more. Got a little log jam here. <laughs> Tan lento, amigo. <laughs> no, it is one. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. It's like the master and the apprentice here. Eh, mucha hoja. <laughs> got it. He got it. I wasn't ready. I didn't think he was even going to try. Dude, we're going to be eating good. We got a little seafood feast going. I cannot believe this guy. Yep. Look at this. Come 
Amigo. Juan here is an absolute beast. Just an animal. Poco más grande. They're getting bigger. Juan. Mi héroe, amigo. Boy. He had it and he dropped it. Amigo, no puede ser. I can't even get the camera out in time. Like he spots it and he just runs down and nips it. Wow. Gallo went and got the Hawaiian sling in case we come across granddaddy lobster. He said these things get much bigger than any of the ones we've got, so. This is a this is a fork job, he said. Did you guys, this spider, uh, way bigger than my whole palm. Jeez. Man, I wasn't ready, dude. These guys are too quick. First victim to the Hawaiian sling. Oh. Y otro. Oh. Amigos, <laughs> doubled up. <laughs> Doble. <laughs> Look at this. Look at this. Oh, we got a feast going now. You guys, I really feel like a kid right now, but like Dakota and I are having so much fun just watching these guys pluck these shrimp out of here. I mean, half of these I just can't get the camera out in time because they see it and just swipe it. These are the experiences. This is what it's all about, you know? Out here camping in the middle of nowhere, harvesting our own food, all kinds of food. Just having fun. Grown ass kids. Uh oh. En serio? Como, como sabias? I did not even think. How did he know? Como, como sabias que era uno, amigo? No puede ser. This guy's a freaking machine. Good one. No. Gallo, no. <laughs> Guy over with the stab it and Juan grabs it. Wow. Juan is definitely the MVP of the shrimping expedition. Hawaiian sling failure followed up with the, the hand job redemption. Ah, you look at me. Okay, harder than it looks. <laughs> Guy's redemption moment. Oh! Ay, 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 ay. Ay, ay, uno. Dakota, there's one in the middle of the pool. A good one. Now, the man himself, Juan's going in. Oh! Si, poco por arriba en su mano. Wow. Rapidito eres, amigo. Wow. I can tell by his body language you got it. Professional. Wow, my grande. Oh, wow. Dang. <laughs> God. This is freaking Panamanian Steve Irwin. No way. <laughs> there it is. Oh, it's, it's Nuyo. That's the one that he hit with the, the spear and I got like, away. Man, quite the haul. Look at this. We got like 20. We got a little shrimp fry coming up. Si, mejor en el agua. Okay. So you're saying the best way to keep these guys fresh is to put them down in cold water. He says they'll keep way better that way. Good morning, ladies and gents. Slept like a baby on the nice, soft concrete floor. It's great. Now we're getting uh, getting breakfast going. Victor's peeling some more plantains. We're gonna make some more patacones. 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 We got this fruit that I've never heard of. This this fruit pan that we're gonna cook up. They cook it, they boil it, I think. I don't know, we're gonna try that. We're gonna make some shrimp, maybe some fish. We got some eggs. Typical breakfast items, you know, a little seafood egg omelet coming up soon. But first, 
There's fish busts in the bay, I've been told. I'm about to run down there, see if I can't catch a fish or two before breakfast. Just real quick. Just real quick. A couple casts. All right, so these guys are coming over here, climbing on these rocks. They're looking for some kind of shellfish. It looks like a, like a big snail type of creature, mollusk of some sort. I don't really know, but they said they're delicious to eat. And uh, right now it's low tide. It's the time to kind of pick these guys. So they're gonna be looking for shellfish. I'm gonna do a little fishing off the rocks here, see if I can't catch something this morning. Ah, aquí hay uno, creo. Is this guy right here? See, it's not. Ah, sí. Y cómo lo remover? Con un machete. Ah, la punta. Muy duro. So that's it, but he said the only way to get that off is with a machete. Look at these rock formations. Little plate tectonics in action. Uh huh. Ay, ay. Lo tenía. Cabrón. <laughs> Uh -huh. <laughs> oh yeah, monstro! Look at this, you guys. <laughs> that is another greater hawkfish. This this one's not quite as great. <laughs> Beautiful little fish. Oh, get some. Conca, concha. Es como si le llamamos puyoso. Ah. So this is like basically a baby conch, you guys, and they're saying these guys are delicious as well. Yeah, bueno. There's another little hawkfish. A little bit bigger than that last one. Such cool patterns on this tail. Look at that. And there is one of those orange belly trigger fish. You see that guy there? The spine up on top. Let's see. All right, time to cook up these shrimp. A little shrimp for breakfast. Go guys, freshwater prawns. They're looking quick and easy. And now we got some fish going down. Paracones. So we got paracones, we got shrimp. And we're cooking up that greater hawk fish that I caught that I've never eaten. I'm a little, I'm pretty excited to try this. I think it might be good. And then they're also cooking up a jack revolve that they caught. I'll probably skip that. <laughs> Not the most traditional of breakfast, but it's about to be good. It's about to be a feast. Freshwater jungle prawns. <laughs> Burn your fingers? Yeah. <laughs> 
Bueno, cuando ustedes para acá se vienen varios, no se vienen uno nada más, dos, tres. Es posible solo de cinco libras. Uh -huh. No, una más. Una oh, más yeah. Bueno, no, no todas en caterita. It's got like a good bite to it, that like almost crunch that you're looking for. You're looking for. And any good shrimp, that is good, man. I think there's meat in the claws. <laughs> <laughs> Suck the heads. Louisiana That's good, man. Alright, guys, next up we got this greater hawk fish. I've never eaten this fish before. We catch them all the time. Some of them a lot bigger than that one. The, the meat is super white. I don't know if you can see that. Beautiful meat. Pretty excited to try this. Dude, it's, it's really good. Yeah. Gotta start keeping them. It's really good, dude. I like the texture. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's got a little more of a bite to it, like. Pretty firm texture, super white, clean tasting meat. That's phenomenal, man. Fantastic. Juan, gracias, nigga. Oh, man. <laughs> Good? I, that is so much better than the shrimp back at the lodge. <laughs> Jeez. That is a little good. paracone. And greater hawkfish, uh, popper. That's good. Now we got this fruit tapan going down. These fruits that we harvested from this tree right here above our camp. I have never seen anything like this, but they're basically going to boil this in water, in salt water. They just added a bunch of salt. I'm really curious. I don't know how this is exactly going to work. We finna find out. It came from this tree right up here. You see what I think? I got the one with the egg. Mm. Apparently you eat them. Yeah. Cody here's going to eat the, the prawn eggs. Pick the lucky one, I guess. Yeah, May, might be the lucky one. <laughs> might, might be the short straw. When in Rome. <laughs> Never different. Definitely different. I don't know. I'm not convinced of anything. No, girl. Que es fritanga se acabó, ¿no? Yo digo. Parecido, ah, parecido, sí. <laughs> Breadfruit, they're calling this thing. Oh, shit. He said they're not sweet. Looks like a nut. Como maní. Ah, pues sí, parecido, ¿no? It does look like bread. Como pan. Se ve como pan. Bueno. Está bueno. Sí. Bueno. All right, and for dessert, we got this fruta pan, this bread fruit, but he said it's not sweet. It's not a sweet fruit. And it looks kind of like a nut, and it looks kind of like bread once you crack open the nut. It's pretty bizarre. I've never actually, I've never seen anything like this. We're going to try it. Let's see how it goes. Yeah. Hard part is getting into this thing. Mm -hmm. I mean, you literally you kind of peel it off like a nut. They're calling it a fruit, but a lot of times around here, those kind of words are sort of lost in translation. It might be a nut. I don't know. But the shell comes off here. Theoretically. Y mira, puedo comer. Esta sí, ese no, pero ese sí. No, ¿Lo puedes quitar? Este también Ajá. necesito remover. Ah, la telita. Mm -hmm. So you take off the shell, but then there's still 
There's still a skin on here. And they're saying you gotta get that off too. If anyone knows what this is called in the States, please comment down below. I'm really curious. I'm gonna be looking it up when I get back. See if I can figure it out. Let's see, you take off this, take off the hard shell, then you take off this kind of papery skin. And there it is, guys. There is the cleaned version. That's a nut. It's not a fruit. It's a potato bread nut. Potato bread nut. It's like a soft, soft kind of bready, peanutty. I really don't know. I don't think I've ever had anything quite like it. But it's good. Really, really good, you guys. It's so cool to come out here and be harvesting fresh food from the jungle that I don't even know what it is or how it works or. There's a couple gringos out here getting our horizons expanded. Whole new world out here. It's a lot of work. Like pistachios are a lot of work. This is this is a lot of work. Estos son buenos, pero mucho trabajo. Fruta pan. They're good. It's a weird texture. But it's good. Nice little dessert after our plantains, fish, and shrimp breakfast. Just like mommy used to make. Mm, not bad. So we had big plans to chase some giant tuna on the way back to the lodge, but the seas are getting rougher. It is rough out here. I think we're gonna have to skip it, but that would have just been the icing on the cake. What an incredible trip this was. Can't wait to come back.